Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this short video, we are going to take a look at how to create a chart with a secondary axis in Excel. So in this example, we have a table that has the number of sales per month and then the average price per sale per month. Now, say we want to insert a chart that shows this as a column chart. So let's input that, switch our rows and our columns. So we're showing with the months down the bottom and then the number of sales along the vertical axis. If we were to add the average price for sale into this chart, it obviously becomes a little bit meaningless and because the average price for sale is so much higher than the number of sales, it becomes very difficult to see the number of sales column. So we want to change this so we can see the data a little bit better. So let's first of all make our chart a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on. We'll go into change chart type. And once you come in here, what you want to do is come down to this bottom option here, which is the combo chart. So clicking on that, what it's done automatically, it suggested that we change the average price per sale to a line chart. You'll see, however, this is still very high above the other data. And how we fix this is we will check this little box here, which says secondary axis. And essentially what that does, if we click OK, is it creates a second axis here in pounds, which shows you the average price per sale. And we've got the value which is the number of sales on the normal axis. Now, if you have more rows in here, so, so let's just put some dummy data in. Just copy this across. Now we click on our chart again, go to design, change chart type. You can change this number of sales site two to being a cluster column and we'll check the secondary axis. And what it does then, it puts in your sales data for the second site, but keeps your average price per sale as a line. And then you can format your chart as you see fit. If you want to know a little bit about where you find the various options for formatting your chart, do check out my formatting charts video. So that was a brief introduction to how to create a chart with a secondary axis in Excel. I do hope that you found it useful and have learned something new. Please do leave me a comment, like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.